Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, the world out there. Today we are going to take a look at Scorpio's I Spy Tarot reading for the month of May. In this reading we are going to tap into the energies with the Island Time Wellness deck. We are then going to look into what this person is thinking. So we'll take a look at what their perception of the situation is how they're feeling about this, what their intentions are moving forward, advice for you. We'll clarify and then of course pull a power thought card at the end, okay? Please keep in mind guys, the messages here on YouTube are general. They are not going to resonate every time with every person. You are more than welcome to check other signs. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title that's resonant, there's most likely something in the message. For more information on how to book a personal reading, the energy cleanse kits that I offer, how to get entered into the drawing that we do here every month. All the other helpful, useful information is all linked below in the description box. And if you guys would like future messages, you like how I vibe, you like how I interpret the cards, you are more than welcome to subscribe. Everyone is always welcome, and it does help set your intentions with the channel. So let's see here, Scorpio. There's a lot of cards that come are coming out all at once. So we'll take a peek here, but we have Twin Flames, Palm Tree, Soulmates, Talking self-indulgence, kisses, and date. So this is either somebody from your past coming back around or a new person coming in that you have a strong connection with, but with self-indulgence present, this talks about there's a need for healing. So let's take a deeper look. I do get the sense here, Scorpio, that your you are healing from a past situation here. Camera. This card talks about looking back at the past, reminiscing on a past situation. Okay. Healing hearts. Healing from a toxic relationship or toxicity. Maybe this could even be uh, healing your own toxic behavioral patterns as well. More card, please, Spirit. Lightning. Okay, so I feel like there's going to be um, either you're going to reach out or somebody's going to reach out to you. This is going to change your perspective on things. I feel like this is going to happen very quickly. Let's get a few soul journey cards. Doubt. Okay. Let's see if that comes back out. There is a sense here that you are looking back on the past. Worry and balance. I feel like you have maybe taken some time, a step back from everybody, every relationship and kind of focused on yourself. I do get the sense that there is a little stress, a little anxiety, whether this is maybe this other person has, has gone through the same process, whether they've healed or whether they're still focused on the past, but I feel like worrying, what this card says right here, I'm learning that worrying doesn't change the outcome. I feel like that is a big message coming out here. Focus on the balance. Um, you know, maybe this person might need closure from the past in order to let that go. Very well could be a possibility. So just be open. Let's take a look. There is the sense of somebody coming back from the past, 
Now, this doesn't have to be you guys are going to reconcile and get back together. That doesn't necessarily what this means. However, it could. I get this sense that there's closure. Closure that's happening from a past situation here. Let's take a look. Most important message here for Scorpio Spirit. What does Scorpio need to see for the month of May? What is the energy surrounding the person Scorpio has in mind? Please and thank you. Now this is going to be... I feel it's going to be in connection with this. We will see though. I feel like this... It's We're going to talk... This reading is going to be about getting closure on a past situation okay so let's see here most important message for scorpio coming out mm -hmm. so five five to the six but five of wands to the six of swords okay so this talks about um conflict okay competition the five of wands is competition it's in this card you see that there's just people competing you know for nothing i don't even feel like maybe they don't even know what they're competing for they just maybe like to hear themselves talk i don't know hear themselves argue but i feel like this person wants to move away from this the person at hand wants to move away from this conflicted energy they i feel like they may be tired of this competition here okay um maybe they want i feel like they just want to move forward into something that's calmer whether this is away from everything in this situation or with you they don't care i feel like they just don't want to deal with competing for your time energy space they're feeling i also feel this sense of um loss or losing something oftentimes the six of swords will talk about a sacrifice being made in order to move forward so let's take a look at what this person's perception here of you what is the person's what is this person's perception of scorpio spirit what is this person's perception of scorpio please and thank you The tower moment in reverse talks about this ending could have been avoided. An ending or um, however this happened, the turmoil, the conflict that was going on within this connection could have been avoided. Okay. But I feel like something happened where it wasn't i also feel with the five of cups here they look back on this situation with a lot of regret a lot of um sadness you know uncertainty what are they feeling about scorpio spirit what are they feeling here about scorpio and this situation too many cards we have the ten of swords in reverse the seven of cups the hierophant the judgment queen of wands and the nine of swords so an avoidable ending again and then we have here a lot of confusion you know wanting something that's more traditional a lot of anxiety a lot of stress here okay let's see how is, how is this person feeling? How is this person feeling about Scorpio spirit? Okay. 
conflicted, at a crossroads, uncertain of how to take action or what to do. I feel like this person is very conflicted. I feel like part of them wants to reconcile and part of them just wants to move forward. And I feel like this person is very undecided on how this is going to work. Okay. I get the sense that um, your person, Scorpio, is very up in their head. Very, a lot of swords coming out here. Um, a lot of um, contemplating, you know. I do get the sense that they want to come back in. They want to have a conversation with you, but they might not know how to approach the situation. Let's get some clarification on these sets here. Clarification for Scorpio Spirit. Please clarify the power in reverse, the temperance, and the five of cups. Please and thank you. Power, temperance, and the cups. So they may have waited. This person may have waited for you to come back around or be waiting. But I feel like they're getting impatient here, okay? Um, I feel like they may have been going through a self-discovery process and they're coming out of that. Yeah, they're, they're wanting to come back in, but I feel like this may just be a conversation of closure, okay? Maybe they've already decided that this is, this is too much, right? There's a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety here, okay? Let's see what their intentions are. Let's take a look at that. What is this person's intentions here, Spirit, for Scorpio coming back in? Why do they want to come back in, though? It's all this, it's all this negative energy. Why do they want to come back in for Scorpio? Four of Swords with the Fool. One more card, please, Spirit. One more card. Let's get this up. One more card, please. Closure. I get the sense here that this person there's something about this connection that keeps holding them back from moving forward. I do get the sense that they just want to move forward. They don't care how. They just want to feel stable and solid. There's a lot of uncertainty, a lot of indecisive energy here. Okay. Um, what is the advice for Scorpio spirit? What is the advice? I feel like this is, has a potential for a new beginning. Um, it's just going to take some time. And that's going to be determined, you know, who, by the, the individual. Are you going to want to wait for this person? Or are you going to want to um, move forward? You don't want to wait. Maybe they don't want to wait. But I do feel like there's kind of this delay. There's this sense of waiting. We have the Three of Cups in reverse. This is for the advice, Scorpio. Four of Cups and the Sun card in reverse. Okay. So we're going to get some clarification out here on these last sets. But I feel like the advice here is there's some delays. 
that are happening. And I feel like it has to do with your how you're approaching the situation. And I also feel like you can sense this. Scorpios are very intuitive creatures. They are able, they have the ability, uh, almost psychic intuition that, um, of what a person is feeling or thinking. Okay. I feel like there is a need here for closure. For some of you, you may allow this person to get closure or give closure. But for most of you, I feel like you're going to ignore this. You have this wall up and may be. There's this sense of there's this underlying tit for tat one up energy. Okay. Like you, this person ignores you for some time. So you ignore them. And it's like they come back in to talk to you when you're guarded. And you, when you come back in to talk to them, they're guarded. That's the energy that I'm feeling. Okay. But that's not serving anybody. That's actually hindering the progress. Whether it's with this person or moving forward without this person. There's a need here for closure on this situation. And both of you are going to be delayed, going to be stuck in this cycle until this closure is had. You have a free will, obviously, to do whatever you want. But what it looks like here, Scorpio, what you are in the energy of is you're not hearing this. You're not seeing this. You're not doing nothing. You're guarded. The advice that I feel is coming out here is there's a need to kind of let that go because otherwise these delays, if you both are in this energy of the other person has to wait for me to come around. Okay. Instead of, okay, I gave them their space. I just need to wait, wait for this person to come in. And I feel like you probably go through this cycle, you know, maybe you try to reach out to this person. They don't respond right away. So you think, okay, let's give them their space. And then, you know, they may be, um, they may take a while to come back around and eventually you get in this space of, well, they took a while, so now they're going to have to wait for me. And so they reach out to you and you're in that energy, like now they're going to have to wait for me. I feel like it's a mirroring type of thing. That cycle keeps progressing and, and until there's closure from whatever took place, whatever this tower moment, whatever this competition or conflict that you guys had in the past, until there's closure to that situation, you, I feel like this cycle is going to continue. Now, once you guys release that competitive type of energy, once you guys come together at least for closure that's where the balance is going to come in but it's up to you because we all have free will i am going to do an extended version in, to this reading i'm going to take a look at what the next steps are moving forward and i'm also going to take it what the lesson to learn is here okay we'll take um we'll pull out the guidance cards for the blessing we'll pull out the soul truth card for the lesson if that's something you guys are interested in the link is below Power thought card that's coming out for you guys is I claim my own power and I lovingly create my own reality. I ask for more understanding so that I may knowingly and lovingly shape my world and my ex experiences. I claim my own power and I lovingly create my own reality. So Scorpio, that is the message I have coming out for you guys for this week this month. Sorry. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, the link is below. Otherwise, thank you guys so much. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.